Hi everyone. For today's Tuesday tutorial I want to share a video tutorial showing a uh, technique that I used on one of the cards I created for CHA. Um, today I'll be creating the technique on a tag and after the video on the blog you'll see the finished tag and I'll tell you how I finished it out. And then tomorrow on the blog I'll show you that card that I created and show you how I used the technique there. Um, this is an inky finger technique. So if you love inky, messy hands. I think you're going to like this one. Uh, the surface we're working on is the Ranger Specialty Stamping Paper. It's a coated stamping paper and I really love it for stamping because it's like high def for stamping. Your images come out so crisp and clear. But I really also love it for techniques like this one that are very wet because I feel like the coating helps give me a little more work time before the product starts soaking into the paper. To cut that um, paper into a tag. I've used the Sizzix Tim Holtz tag and book plate die. Um, I love this die. It's probably my most used die because I love that I can cut tags out of whatever paper or material I want to work on. It's a great size tag and I think if you don't have it in your collection you probably should have. Okay, the first step here is to mist this tag with picket fence distress stain. Recently Tim Holtz had a video on his blog showing how he puts distress stains into mini mister bottles. I've done the same thing except I've used the bigger bottle here. Um, with the bigger bottle you can put those mixing beads in there. And you just want to mist that onto your your tag. I will say that, um, and you're going to dry this, that um, when you mist with it it's going to probably go everywhere so make sure that you've protected your work surface. Um, I recommend the Ranger nonstick craft sheet. It's my favorite surface to work on. Um, but definitely protect your work surface if you don't want um, specks of white everywhere. So this is going to dry really pretty quickly here on your tag. The backs of my tags are usually very, very ugly because I don't clean up the overspray or the other ink. I just keep working on it. So if it's important to you that the back of your your tag is clean, you probably want to stop here and clean that up. Okay, so once that's dry, I'm going to take antique linen distress stain and you're just going to pounce it on your surface. No really rhyme or reason or how much you do it, just um, kind of what feels right. I'm going to be stamping with a wood grain stamp when I finish um, finish this tag out. So um, I wanted to use Distress Stain colors that reminded me or worked well with the wood design. Now the reason I'm, I'm drawing in between each stage is because I don't want this to get real muddy as I put the two different colors of stain on. I don't want them to mix yet, so by drying them now, it slows that down a little bit. I am going to add water in a minute here to blend them, but for now I, I want to try to keep this color put, just to reduce the mixing just a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to follow that up with some walnut stain. And again, no real rhyme or reason how much you add or where you add it, um, just totally random. And I'm going to dry this again. And again, if you have any areas that really wet that um, aren't drying out very much, you can blot those with a, a cloth. Um, sometimes you might discover that you've kind of transferred the pattern from your cloth to your tag a little bit. I don't worry about that too much. I kind of think of that as a little added design bonus. Um, but we're going to miss this in a second here with water, so you'll probably that'll probably go away anyway. So you can see mine. I got a little messy. No worries. Okay, next we're just going to follow on with some water. 
let those blend and move about. And I'm going to lightly blot the excess water and dry this tag. You can see that the picket fence stain really mutes those other colors, um, has blended with them and really muted them and made just a very soft colored background. Okay, next I'm going to use this wood grain stamp and I'm going to stamp using the Distress Stain. So I'm going to scribble some walnut stain right onto my stamp. I love stamping with Distress Stain because, especially for backgrounds, because it gives just a very fluid look. It's not precise, it's just very fluid and easy. And to me that's nice for a background because it doesn't compete with what I have in the foreground. Run my fingers over there a little bit to make sure to transfer it. And then when you lift off, you see you have very subtle um, and very fluid stamp design. And we're going to dry it again. That stain, stain clear, cleans off your stamp really easily. Just mist it with a little bit of water and wipe it off with the dry towel. And it is good to go. You can see some spots here on my tag where um, the stamp design looks really shiny and wet. They're actually fairly dry at this point. That's just the combination of the picket fence and the paper and the stain and it just gives that really cool um, effect there where it um, combines together and, and gives a different finish. If you're unsure about those being dry you can always tap there. Okay at this point then um, if you wanted to add a little bit of color you can come in and Blend on a little color. That's a little antique linen. One other thing I wanted to show you about the specialty stamping paper. If you followed my tutorials or, or watched the tags that I make very often, you know that I really like to finish up a project with um, usually a brown, just a crisp um, edge. But you'll notice on the specialty stamping paper, it's a little hard to get a get a very uh, stark edge just because of the coating that's on the paper. So a quick tip I have for you, and I'll be doing this on the wood grain stamp I created, is just to sand just slightly on that edge just to take a little bit of that, that coating off. And you can see here I'm hitting that edge that I just put the ink on so you can see how much. But just a quick sanding will knock that coating off enough that if you want a crisp inked edge that you can still get it there. Okay, I'll be on, on the finish tag, I'll be doing that and so you'll be able to see the finished effect of that as well. Um, thanks again for watching this video and um, I hope you'll come back next Tuesday and don't forget tomorrow I'll have that um, card that's got this technique as well so you'll want to be sure and see that as well. Thanks everyone.